Caroline, Belinda, Alex, Victoria, and Georgia. Thank you for your question. The main difference between training for distance and sprint events is just the type of work you do in the pool. We tend to do the same schedule, probably the same 10 sessions a week, but it's just the, what we do in the pool. They obviously do a lot more short burst sprint work, whereas we just keep going up and down. It's a lot more meterage. I average about 70,000 uh, meters a week. They probably average probably nearer 50, and they do a lot more in the gym than us. I don't lift weights. In my gym program is more circuit, strength and conditioning, whereas theirs is a lot more heavy lifting. What motivates me is obviously that I love doing what I do, but also I want to do well. And obviously with the home Olympics coming up, you don't need more motivation than the home Olympics. And obviously it is difficult in the winter when you're getting up at quarter past five, but you just get out of bed. It's like I just genuinely love getting up and going training. It's what I want to do. And I don't really find it that much of a chore. I have loads of swimming costumes. I must have hundreds. There's so many, but I love just wearing different ones. I'll never kind of wear that many at the same time. I always tend to go one costume and then I won't wear it for a few weeks and I like to just mix it up and wear different ones all the time. Hi Lucy, Caitlin, Hannah and Jordan. Thank you so much for your question. I never ever believed in a million years that I would get this far in swimming. When I was younger I just wanted to go swimming. I never thought I would ever go to Olympic Games. I didn't even think that until the year I went to the Olympic Games that I'd actually go and it was an unbelievable experience that I'll remember forever. My parents and my sisters inspired me to swim. I just wanted to be like them when I was younger. They were my idols growing up. I started kind of thinking, oh, I could do this as a career when I was about 13, 14. I made my first team, which was going to the Youth Olympics in Paris. It was an unbelievable experience. I went there and got two silver medals and just came back and I was just like, Mum, I just want to keep swimming. And it was just what I knew I wanted to do as a career. I never wanted to give up. It's something that I've always loved, loved doing. Um, in 2006, unfortunately, I got really ill and so was my sister and that was a very kind of down year for me. I was kind of wondering whether I'd recover from the illness and I was kind of a bit unsure about whether I was going to go back into it. But luckily, I have an amazing coach who I still am with, Bill Furness, and he kind of coached me back into it and slowly built up and managed to get back to full fitness. Hi, Alison, Julian, and Josie. Thank you for your question. Um, normally, before I swim, I just eat normally, kind of get as much energy as I can. I don't tend to eat sweets or chocolates before a race. I um, tend to stick to just sandwiches or some sort of pasta, or just something to give me a bit of fuel and make sure I just keep sipping on water or squash. I don't tend to go for anything fizzy, just keep it nice and plain and stuff that's going to give me the most energy. My favourite event is the 800 meters freestyle. It's the one that I've been racing the longest. It's the one that I've achieved the most in. It's the one that I most enjoy. I just feel more confident and comfortable within the race. Hi, Emily and Liam. Thank you so much for your question. It was very different going from kind of an unknown to kind of all of a sudden being in the media after Beijing. But it was something that I just kind of got into and kind of got used to, I think. It's so nice when people do stop me on the street and say good luck or well done and everybody's support means so much to me and everyone's just been so lovely and I think you just get used to doing the, the kind of media days as well and it, everyone's always just so nice. I don't really find it that hard to stay grounded. I've got some amazing friends and family around me who <laughs> always bring me back down if I ever try to get um, too full of myself really but I just think I've got an amazing support system. Obviously, I do have a lot more expectation on myself now. Loads of people think that I'm just gonna go and win all the time, but it's not how it happens in sport. And I think people who understand sport realize that not everybody wins all the time. No football team wins every match. And it's just how it works. And it's what makes sport so interesting and so brilliant to watch. So it's just the expectation. It's just people wanting me to do well and people wanting to show their support, not kind of, you must win gold. <laughs> Hi Peter, thank you for your question. I don't think I'd ever consider doing triathlon or anything just because I'm petrified of the sea. So if it's ever in a sea or lake or anything, 
could never do it, but I also can't run to save my life. I think I'm much more suited to being in a pool than swimming. <laughs>